Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eric Drazen. Today on the show we have Christian Lindbergh and you're watching Oakland Tobacconist. <laughs> This is going to be a bit different than some of our other reviews. This is actually a pipe review. Um, tonight is pipe night, and once we do, what we do is once a month we get all of our pipe tobaccos out, and we have a flat rate of eight dollars, and you get to sample whichever ones you like. So Christian, what did you pick out to try? I chose the Mycroft, the English blend. By the way, I'm smoking the Adler. It's, it's a um, really easy Virginian, but. Um, Christian here actually is a bow maker. He hand carves out of various different woods, uh, straight bows, long bows, um, and actually he's going to be coming up later, I think this weekend coming up, um, in which we'll be having an archery situation. So I guess what would prompt the question is, what got you into hand carving bows? Uh, I started woodworking um, maybe three years ago okay. or so, uh, just by hand was always kind of fascinated with it, uh, just the craftsmanship behind it. So about three years ago, I uh, started making uh, tools mostly, tools to make more tools. <laughs> um, I made, you know, mallets, uh, chalk lines, okay. um, just, just basic stuff, you know, that you can kind of tinker around with. About two weeks worth of time where my wife and kids were away uh, in New Zealand, actually, and kind of needed to fill the void, and so I poured myself into uh, hand carving nice. uh, and shaping. Nice. And from there, uh, I found bow making just because it was something I wanted to try to make. Um, I had grown up shooting shooting uh, bare recurve bows. Okay. Uh, my dad had some. He'd given me a little, maybe like a 35 pounder, which was enough for me back then, and just loved it. And then, you know, as I grew up, kind of fell out of it and uh, wanted to get back into it. Mm -hmm. Thought, I'm making stuff, let's try a hand at a bow. How, how much like research, would you say, went into it like prior to your first attempt? Or was it just a jump into it? Um, there definitely was a jump into it aspect, but I did research a little bit to see if it was possible. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Somehow I just kind of wanted permission to be able to make one to see if it was like possible. So I researched, can you, can you just like make a bow out of... <laughs> any wood and I'm glad I did because I found that some types of wood work better and some types of wood don't. I think maple was the first wood I chose okay. and, and is a has become quite a favorite of mine since. Made one out, it's looking back it's quite crude but uh, <laughs> I actually gifted it to a friend of mine and uh, it, the just the satisfaction behind it was it functioned. Yeah. Um, oddly enough I made a, a pretty functional a crude looking bow yeah. that I just the seeing it work and uh, my buddy came over we shot it for hours nice. and just the fact that it held up it shot well mm -hmm. we just had a blast and that was the fire to make another one the first one was so cool um, giving it away was somewhat of a heartbreaker uh, <laughs> but you know what does he still have it? <laughs> he does he no, does he right. still shoots it to this day nice but no the second one I wanted to make one for myself and I wanted okay. to try a different wood so I chose red oak uh, which is another good Bow wood. It's a basic bow wood, I'd say. You can make a fairly decent bow out of it. Yeah. It's not going to win any tournaments or anything like that. But it, it's functional and it's beautiful. The the grain in red oak is, is beautiful. I use it for a lot of handles and things because of how, how gorgeous I think it is. Okay. Um, and fairly easy to shape, too. Yeah. By the way, this English is delicious. Awesome. Yeah. Is it now? I know we were talking earlier because the aroma is like. A, it's like a blast to the nostrils. Is it smoke easier than you were expecting it was going to? By far. Yeah? Way easier, yeah. Um, if you come up tonight, or any other night for that matter, stick your nose in this jar. <laughs> it's it's quite a waft, which is, it's it smells delicious. It might work as a good alarm clock. <laughs> <Yes. Sleep. laughs> but it, it smells like a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. um, and then you try it and it's pleasantly light, I'd say. Whereas something like the Adler, it has this like smooth aroma. Maybe something that would be good in the morning, um, or a good warm-up, I guess. But um, I, would, I would I would pair it with tea rather than coffee. Okay. I feel like with coffee you need something a little, at least me personally, mm -hmm. you want something a little more bold, I think. Okay. Um, but this is, and which maybe is why English are drinking so much tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. And you don't use any power tools? No, no. So to, to backtrack a little bit, the way it kind of spiraled was I made one for myself, and kind of just through friends and then friends of friends, word of mouth kind of 
spread that I was making bows and that someone was actually hand making bows and that they were turning out all right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and it was really cool. People just started offering, hey, how much would you charge for a bow? And so I really wanted to perfect the craft and um, which I don't think I will ever do. Uh, <laughs> but just, hey, I will make you as good a bow as I can make and you charge, you know, or you, you spend a little bit of money, but you get a, a, a handcrafted bow. Yeah. And so, oh, man, I've since then I've made dozens and dozens of bows. Um, and it's been the perfect outlet for me to, to work the craft and hone it. If if it wasn't for people interested, I think I don't I don't know that I would have come this far. It was I would have a stack of bows in my garage basically. Okay. So I would have some. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, having yeah, yeah. an outlet and a reason to pursue it um, and getting honest feedback, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it really it really was a help and, and has gotten me to where I am now. Yes, all all hand tools. I use no power tools in any of it. My my basic tools I use are a spoke shave, a draw knife, and a rasp. And okay. that's typically what I use to shape every bow. Occasionally a coping saw, um, and a few other hand tools. But but I I enjoy the um, just the the craftsmanship behind it. I feel like the tools are enough. They are, they have been enough. These yeah. tools have been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years. A big part of it seems like, you know, you're starting with a plank of maple that you have to find the shape inside and create that shape. I mean, as you say on your Instagram, you love the process. And it's, I mean, it sounds to me it's somewhat therapeutic for you. It's very therapeutic. And recently you ventured into creating hand grips with leather, right? Doing all the leather stitching yourself. In that whole nine yards. Yes, yes. To put a leather handle on something seems like it would go hand in hand. You see bows with leather handles all the time. Um, but leather work is in and of itself a whole different craft. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. to learn it, you have to learn another craft. But I've, I've always been fascinated with it. Um, just the hand shaping of it, um, all the molding you can do with leather, and then the, the stitching of it. It's, it's, when it's done right, it's a beautiful work of art. The, the weekend coming up, we have our archery. So basically, Christian's gonna come up here with several bows, even um, children's bows that he's made. So it's for all ages, um, and it's about $3, and you get five arrows, and we're gonna set up some targets and hay bales. And you're sh shooting a natural bow uh, in the traditional style, natural targets and uh, you'll get instructed as far as archery and it should be a good time. Yeah, come up. If, if anything else, come up and just have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've never shot a bow before, it's going to be very basic. If you've shot a bow your whole life, it's going to be it's going to be super cool. If you've shot bows your whole life, you know it's just awesome to shoot bows. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. anything, it's another excuse. So <laughs> I encourage you to come up. Like uh, Eric said, uh, there'll be children's bows there too um, for basically all ages. Might need a little bit of help from you, but yeah, um, yeah. Come and, up and shoot. And our cafe uh, will also be open, and of course the cigar and tobacco shop will be open. Um, and we're still picking here in the Glen as far as uh, apple picking, so make a day of it. Come on up. Um, and also once a month uh, we do a Thursday night pipe night, so check us out there. Also the League of Pipes, a monthly subscription. Well, thanks again, Christian, for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Appreciate and uh, it. hopefully we'll see you this weekend.